Mother G is a managed service provider, which in a sense, uh, we're the IT department for small and mid-sized businesses. We do everything uh, to give them a professional grade Fortune 500 experience with their technology. I, as a kid, always had the vision that I was going to own uh, and run a business, uh, maybe because my father did. And so I always wanted to do that. The, the first thing I did was a mailing service uh, where we stuffed envelopes. We stuffed uh, somewhere around 400,000 envelopes back when you did marketing through direct mail. And then uh, a buddy of mine and I started a, uh, a lawn care business in the summer before college uh, because we figured that would be a better way to make some money. And uh, it, it was a great way to make money and I'll never mow another lawn again in my life. To keep us focused on how we drive our business, we follow really kind of a, a long-term vision, BHAG, what do, we, what do we wanna try and do as an organization in the next five to 10 years? And what can we do in the next 90 days to help us directionally achieve those results? So it's, it's a constant 90-day iteration of a five-year vision. The greatest lesson I learned uh, comes from uh, holding on to a person who I knew wasn't going to be successful in their position, but trying to make them successful because they're good people. And you know, there's just a time where you need to balance culture fit and competency. And you, you know, you can't really change people how they are. You may like them, they may be great people, but if they're not a fit for your organization, you have to let them go on and find that right fit somewhere else and you find the person who's a better fit. Anybody who's starting or trying to bring their organization to the next level, the advice I would give them is really make sure you focus on your core values. That, and, and don't try and be aspirational in those core values, but think of the things that actually move your business today, the things, the great successes that you're most proud of, or the things that make you most angry. Look at those things and try and infer what does that say about your organization, and then live by those values. Don't deviate.